I am making savory monkey bread, which is a pile of hot, fluffy dough balls that have been dunked in butter and rolled in colorful herbs and seasonings. And then I'm serving it with a tangy dipping sauce. So to start, I've got just my basic go-to bread roll recipe that I'm shaping into 40 little balls. I'm stretching the surface so that it's smooth and taut and then pinching the ends under and then rolling them. You want evenly shaped balls so that they rise evenly and bake evenly, just like that. Ta-da! Okay, now comes the fun part is the assembly. I've got six tablespoons of melted butter here, and this will be the glue that holds on all of the toppings. In this first bowl, I've got finely chopped parsley and chives. In my second bowl, I'll add some dried minced garlic with smoked paprika, sesame seeds. This reminds me of a sesame bagel. Poppy seeds. I'm loving this color palette already. And lastly, some finely grated Parmesan. Okay, to build my monkey bread, I'll roll a ball of dough all over in butter, get it fully coated, and then dunk it in a topping. I'll roll it around. I love the way it sticks so nicely. Like that. And I'll pop it into the butt pan that's been greased. And I'll rotate the toppings as I go so that once it goes into the butt pan, there's a pretty distribution of the different toppings. Next, I'll do garlic. Apparently, it's called monkey bread because the method in which it is eaten, we pick off the chunks, kind of mimics the way monkeys clean each other. Yum. Sounds so appetizing. We should name a food after it. Okay. I will keep on dunking, and once all the balls are into the bunt pan, I'll cover it up and allow it to proof for another 30 minutes until it's puffy. They're so poofy poofy. Okay, I'll bake this now at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes until it's golden. And in that time, I'll make my creamy veggie dip. So I've got my veggies here, a red bell pepper, carrot, celery, and scallion. And I'm giving them a rough chop before tossing them into my food processor. A little bit of parsley. And then I'll pulse this to break it up into little pieces. That looks good. For the creaminess, I've got some softened cream cheese and half a cup of sour cream to make it dippable. A little garlic powder. I like using this because sometimes I don't always want to eat just chunks of raw garlic. And salt and pepper. The juice of half a lemon. And now I'll bring it together so that it's dippable. That's it. I don't want to overblend and process the veggies into purees. It looks like a party to me. All right, I think it's monkey bread time. It looks so good and it smells so good. I don't know if it looks better or smells better. I'm gonna go for it. I'll invert it onto a plate for serving. This is always the scariest part about bunt cakes is getting it out of the pan. But luckily, monkey bread is much more forgiving than a cake. Did you hear the plop? I'm so excited about this. Oh, I love you so much. I don't even want to disrupt it by eating it, but I truly cannot not. Balls to the rescue. There I go. Mm. Oh yeah. It's buttery, it's fluffy, it's so flavorful. This is better than a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> 